general tips uh, regarding um, manage weight gain in pregnancy and uh, I, I think and because I've been I had two previous uh, two previous previous pregnancies which I gained too much weight um, and I think was completely unnecessary because I was not underweight so I gained 30 kilos for each of them or I think even more than that so my last pregnancy I gained for my daughter that's now 11 I gained um, I was 68 kilograms when I got pregnant and I ended up that pregnancy uh, gaining ending up, up that pregnancy with a hundred and nine kilos which is a lot and that take me a lot of time and a lot of effort to lose all that weight so for this time around I was very worried that happened again but um, I right now I have another knowledge and the uh, self-control and I thought I could manage differently and uh, right now I'm the end of my pregnancy I'm, I can give birth anytime, it can be today, the end of the week um, so I gained 10 and a half kilos and I managed to put a goal for this pregnancy to gain between 10 and 12 will be a good range for me if she stays a week or so I'll probably gain a lot, uh, another half a kilo or something like that but I think I managed pretty well, so I didn't gain, obviously, as much uh, as my two previous pregnancies. And the reason why, uh, and I'm going to give a couple of tips on how I managed to uh, not go overdue and still um, manage to grow a healthy baby inside of me. So, first tip was I tried to find it out what was my um, daily intake. Uh, so, after that, and after the third, the first trimester, which is the the one that you need to, no, don't need as much calories really. You st you need more calories from the second trimester to the third trimester. That's when the the, the major um, calorie intake or the the increase of calorie intake takes place and is necessary. So first of all, I will give an example uh, how. I uh, increase my calories that is my intake not anybody else's and uh, and I play sports which uh, makes my intake a little bit different so I, I approach this differently I also try to make smart cho choices so what my baby needs it needs fast food no it doesn't it needs source of protein source of carbs smart carbs be smart about it and source of fat too, so it can develop as a healthy baby. And uh, my choices for for breakfast normally will be um, will be oats. I will do some oatmeal, and I probably get some uh, berries, and I add a scoop of protein on the, on that oatmeal. So I'll have um, a source of. Uh, low EG carbs. I'll have a source of protein. I put a little bit of fruit, um, has antioxidants on them, gives a good color, it is healthy, it, it looks good, tastes good, and I also uh, add, for example, uh, some um, dry fruits, some almonds or some walnuts, cashews. I keep like moving uh, and changing different types of fats. I mean, I every day I make sure I eat two eggs. Uh, could be in the middle of the day, can be at the end of the day. Uh, two whole eggs, uh, so it's another source of fat as well. Um, I make sure that my lunch and dinner uh, they have a source of protein, a lot of veggies because veggies fill you up, uh, and uh, and they are colorful, so you can like play with that too and I have my cravings too so I craved most of all not big things but I craved most of all was uh, ham and cheese sandwiches which I did it every now and again I try to choose a, a low carb bread or some some bread that doesn't have as much calories and I I choose uh, turkey ham that didn't have much calories and then that much calories as uh, as other or other brands I compare everything uh, and some cheese that is uh, 
has low calories or low fat so I can manage to have a better intake so my strategy is make sure that I eat well I like to eat a lot of meals during the day in small portions so I'll keep eating during the day uh, I will not get as hungry I will not have uh, excessive cravings uh, and I put if I if I feel like I want I want something I will add that but I will have an app on my phone which I will track it everything that I eat because pregnancy is not a free pass for you eat what you want and then you will have the baby and I'll talk about me that's why I manage my my weight gain uh, on this pregnancy because then I'll have this baby and I don't want to have postpart depression and be all bugged about it because my body will look too different and now I have 30 kilos to to lose I don't I don't want to do that so I think gaining uh, as much weight as uh, as much weight as I, I gain in this pregnancy is totally easily manageable to go back to my previous weight and get back in shape something else that I did was uh, to manage to work out all through all this pregnancy I work out before so I didn't stop it on the first trimester was a little bit harder because I feel a lot tired but I still managed to do one thing here one thing there as as much as I feel good I will do it and actually some days I didn't feel as good but I there's a task that I need to accomplish it's something that I need to do even if I didn't feel as much that I want to do it that on the end of it I always have that uh, feeling of accomplishment that I did it and that actually feel good and I think that helped me a lot to in several things uh, keep uh, make me not gain as much weight I uh, keep myself active I never I swallow a little bit but I never had problem with my fingers or my feet uh, don't fit in my boots nothing like that I didn't have like major water retention issues or my lips swallow a lot or my nose swallow a lot or my face get completely deformed that didn't happen and I think that's a combination of two things eating healthy three things eating healthy drink tons of water and exercise because every time I stop exercising as much I notice that I retain a little bit more water and uh, another thing that helped me a lot this pregnancy I didn't have one cramp I, I used to have cramps all the time with my daughters and I think it was lack of water, I'm pretty sure of it. Right now I drink about 3 liters of water uh, and because, and right now in this phase, I still eat but I, I eat very small portions because I'm getting a little bit nauseous at this point. I never have major um, food, uh, I don't know, things like eating a whole pot of ice cream or uh, eating a whole bag of chips. I never done that. If I feel like I, I'm craving something, I will find that thing on a different option and I will eat a small portion of that option. So for example, uh, we have low calorie ice cream. I'm not a big fan of ice cream but every now and then I can eat it a little bit so I'll keep it in the house. I'll get that, I'll put a small, a small portion and I'll eat it. I will not pick it up the, the whole bucket and sit it on the room just eating that. I see no point of it. Um, I just like eat whatever I please but I first pick a small container and I do that with all my meals. A small container and I put whatever I want there and I go and I go away from, from, from that and I just eat it and if I feel like I want to eat more I go back and I pick it up again a small portion and I eat it that will avoid overeating and if you are in a, sur a surplus that is too big even if you're pregnant you're gonna get like extra weight that is not necessary it's not necessary because um, I actually at some point I talked with my, do uh, my doctor and I was like you need to check if this baby is gaining enough weight because I'm not gaining too much weight and she told me straight away that I should not worry about that because uh, I was in a good weight uh, when I when I get pregnant when I got pregnant and uh, and everything seems fine but she she checking the baby the baby was great she has a normal she has normal weight actually a little bit above um, but she's great thing that people confuse is thirst with hunger two different things 
So to avoid that, you need to hydrate yourself pretty well for yourself and for your baby because you need water. Your body needs water. You will have extra blood. Um, you need that water. That's essential. That's an essential thing. Uh, some sometimes I cannot complain too much. Uh, on this pregnancy, I didn't have like major cravings, but that's because I think I managed them. I managed to eat whatever I want to. But again, small portions and I add that to my intake and I'll in the end of the day I have to still be on that intake and I managed to track my my weight gain weekly and compare if I was gaining 250 grams a week I was fine with it it was a healthy weight gain and I had the surplus needed for me and for the baby so that you know I don't think you need to do to go overboard be, just because everybody s assume that you need to eat for two that's that's not the reality of things actually you don't need to eat for two if you're in a normal uh, weight when you get pregnant you only need about 250 to 300 extra calories that is not much that's basically I don't know one snack it's not even a big meal, it's a snack. So it's not eating for two, it's eating an extra meal. And make sure that meal has carbs, has protein source, and has fat source. Make it smart. So I'm gonna give 